on guys. Today we're gonna to attack a little more on the Celica. So today we're gonna to work on the front bumper, grill, headlights, I have a front spoiler to go on to it, uh, and then the rear bumper, I'll put that on and kind of see what's going on. I may mess with these headlights, or the taillights, there's a center section here, but we'll figure that out as we go. Um, the bumpers are fiberglass. I've had them for a while, they came with the car. So um, there's no mounts, there's no brackets, there's no nothing, we're gonna to have to kind of figure that out. Um, I don't know, yeah, let's see what kind of trouble we get into. Guys, got the fenders back on. Front uh, little grill piece and the headlights, as you saw everything. So now what we're gonna do is put that front bumper on, which I have sitting here. Um, these parts here are gonna kind of interfere with this stuff. So what do I do? This needs to be cut, and this whole section needs to be taken out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off, and I'll put them on the bench, mount the bumper and then we'll put these back in afterwards, you know, to get everything nice, nice. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's a bumper that was uh, given to me with the car. It's pretty solid. It's really thick. And it's, uh, I think it's fiberglass. These are the mounts and there's no other way to mount this thing. So I'm glad that there's these on here, first of all. So what I'll do is I'll drill two holes in here, drill two holes in there. And um, we'll just probably put a nut and a bolt through that. Um, I'm gonna also tape this thing up because I don't want it getting trashed. And I'll show you how we're gonna mount this thing. So there's two holes in the front here. Um, there's one here, there's one on the other side also. So I made a little, this is gonna be my bracket here. Let's see if I can show you guys, hold this. So I just kind of bent a little piece of welding rod and um, it sticks about like that. And we can make an adjustment up and down. And then also um, I'm gonna slot the top piece also up there. So that way we can, you know, move the bumper in and out. And what that'll do is allow the bumper to kind of like move in this way and out instead of like just this way. All right, so this is where I'm at. Um, I had to pretty much take apart the whole front end again, which whatever, um, let's show you what's going on here. The corners here I'm still fighting with. Um, this is the worst part of the whole car. And if you guys noticed online, any pictures you see like, this is always jacked. It's either, I think they're always down, like huge gap here, real tight here. Uh, this also is funky, is because this is a aftermarket you know, fiberglass bumper. I don't know which company or brand you know made it. Uh, it's pretty solid, but it's just not shaped right. Um, but I did all I can. I'm happy with this, it's even. I kind of like how it's sort of even here. But again, you have to kind of like happy medium things when you're when you're uh, trying to fit something that doesn't really fit the other issue I had which is gonna be common also is that this here um, you, usually it's way out because the bumper the radius is not the same so what I had to do was you know just manipulate the fender and bend it a little bit I can show you inside there I only have one screw in there um, and you can tell this one's kind of not in the right place I'm just gonna oblong this and then put the bolt in. 
and that, that that way it'll hold its hold its form. I mean, it's holding pretty good now, but I really had to like try to manipulate things, and that's just kind of nature of the beast with an old old car like this. Uh, over to the other side here, kind of the same situation. This one we are fighting a little, also it's a little a little bigger here, but this is much better. You know, you can it's hard to tell the tape, but this is way better. Um, I just have to move my bracket and I can get rid of this. Happy with that also. This part's good too. So let's look at the brackets here. Um, I just made these out of aluminum quick. Just they're easier to manipulate, it's a little faster. So they mount on those, those holes that I showed you earlier and they're slotted. And then I think it's easier to show you this one. And then there's just one, one bolt there. And that bend, where is it? That bend right here is how I change my shape um, with this here. So I'll do that a little more to get them a little tighter. Um, but all in all, I think, I think they're pretty good. The other issue with them, other than, you know, this, this radius here is this bumper it has a different side than this side, which kind of sucks, but I think I know a solution for that. I sort of tucked this bumper over over this little valance piece which I will do you know after it's done too once this is all stiff on there real good we can kind of put it up there and it'll stay because everything will be bolted nice and tight and this will hold it kind of whatever but I, I kind of dig this I don't really want the gap because they just they don't fit if they did I might be okay with this little ridge and then the bumper but so we're gonna leave it like that and with this gap here what we'll do is just take the mounting holes where the mounting points are wherever it is here and we'll just put a couple washers you know behind this thing i guess what we'll do is i'll make those brackets 100 percent get those on and um then we'll move on there's a filler piece here that needs a little you know you have to cut some off i'll show you that in a minute and uh that for the brackets here i'm gonna probably take something and mount it across somewhere else that way it's not just holding on with like one one thing because it's kind of flimsy so i may come in like somewhere over there like that and i think that'll be nice and rigid so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back brackets are done uh you can see a little post in there that i that i put let me see if i can get you in here so i had to bend it a little bit more i slotted things still uh, and then this, obviously, when I welded it on, scooched back or I had to bend it to get it in the right place. So we had to run some washers, which is okay. Uh, I did the same uh, on the other side. You know, there's one washer in there, but I still got to paint those, get them nice. Um, I had to readjust everything, which sucked. So the gap here is a little bigger, but that gives us the same kind of height as you can see over there. Cause I had a hard time with that afterwards. Okay, this part here where the lower valance goes, it was really good on this one. You can tell it's mint. Over here, we're still like a little out, but I also did, I was able to get both of my bolts in here. So I'm just gonna like oblong this, like I said, a little bit, not too much, and then get rid of that. Now what's next is we're gonna throw these filler pieces in on both sides. You gotta do some modifications to those. And after those are in, then I'm gonna start manipulating this to try to get our gap right and see what I have to do for that. If I go ahead and just space this out and pull it out so it fits underneath here, I'm not sure what's gonna happen over here. You know, is it gonna hit things? Is it gonna hit up here? Is it gonna be at an angle? Like I have to really figure that out. Every single silica I see online, this panel is tucked underneath. By how much? I have no idea, but it is. So this one's fairly good. But I think I'm going to try to tuck everything underneath like, like they're supposed to be. With that, bringing this forward, that's going to mess with this edge, which is going to mess with our grill. So once I get the grill on, I want to see if I can pull this out and still be okay without there being like a gap between the grill and this little, you know, valence, I guess we'll call it. First things first, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and put these in. Uh, and then we'll we'll see where we're at from there. All right, guys. So here's our little panel here. We got to cut 
it's scratched, I guess. This is the USDM one, kind of sits like this, and then there's a big fatty, fatty bumper that kind of goes across the bottom. So I can tell you, it needs two cuts. One kind of like right, right along that uh, far ridge line, whatever it is, and then a little bit back further, but I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you, I did the other side. Let's go over there. Uh, this side's pretty much done, but I wanted to, as mentioned, move this and tuck it underneath. But that's not really gonna happen because as you can tell, I can't go any further forward with this panel. And if I do that, I think I'm gonna have to run some washers and that's gonna pull everything behind the headlight more forward and create more of an issue in this area than it would this area. But I don't know, I'm gonna kind of like put everything together and then kind of see where, where things sit. I don't really like this, but it's kind of the best we can do right now. There's a semi gap under here. If this car was white, all this stuff would be noticeable, but you know, all in all, this is pretty decent, I guess. You know, I like things to fit a little tighter, but anyway, let's go ahead and cut the other one out. I'll show you, show you how to do that. So first things first, we're gonna end up cutting along this line just to kind of like get ourselves close and then we can cut kind of half and half uh, against like two lines. But what you want is, I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of not really straight, I guess. This kind of like bumps out a little bit. It's kind of at an angle. So what we want to try to do is like get everything straight Okay, now let's loosen this bumper up a little bit. So there's a piece I cut out a little bit. Try to just hold that edge. I'm being like super careful because I don't really want to ruin the paint, you know what I mean? So I'd rather not paint these again. So as you can tell, that's hitting nice. This is where it's supposed to be. But we have this little section here. So what I did was just kind of like Hold it over it, generally, and kind of make sure that this thing is touching. It's really what we, we're worried about here is this section here. So pinch that a little bit, and then you can kind of see the bumper through here. And So this one's a little bit bigger gap. I can tell, which I hate it. Uh, so I think what I think I'm gonna do is definitely move this one out. This whole side is different for some reason. Like this is all different. There's a huge gap here, which I run into that. But this also, this bumper, it's thinner here than on the other side as well. So I'm just gonna take some washers. I'm gonna move this out. There's a lot of space here, um, which is kind of, strange but again we're kind of custom fitting everything this just sucks right here so so unfortunately this is the best we're going to get it's just so different the bumper is just so different that you can tell the gap here and this one's a little less this one's a little tighter here but these panels really suck but like i said if the car was white these would really jump out but Took some washers, put them behind there. I mean, I can do maybe one more to get this a little tighter, but I don't think that's really gonna do much. This thing is massive. And I had to kind of bend that little bracket to, to get this down sitting right. It's kind of, kind of sitting the same, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm definitely not happy as you can tell with this, but anyway, I wanna go to sleep tonight. So I'm gonna kind of, you know, forget about this and not, not really worry about it too much. So my grill isn't really painted fully all the way yet. Uh, I'm gonna do matte in the center and then do like gloss here. Obviously I'm waiting for some, some paint.
All right, guys, so that's not too bad. Uh, I really hate these brackets showing. I'm going to paint them. Hopefully, they disappear. But uh, everything fits pretty decent. You know, this is a little funky. But obviously, you saw me bend in it. You can, you can manipulate it pretty good. It's pretty soft. This one I got nice. All right, guys, this is the front spoiler. This thing I've had for quite a few years, two years now. And it's from Thailand, from a guy that makes them by hand. Um, I think it's Pond Retro is his, is his name. I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out. But uh, these are all handmade out of metal. So like they're super legit. And, you know, like they fit pretty good. The ones that I have on this particular spoiler had trouble fitting. And I believe that's just because of the model I have. Every car is different, you know. But um, he has ones that are like staple, you know, exactly to fit. But the one I had, I had to send him a little template, you know, out of cardboard. Like, it, it was kind of a pain. But that was just my case. He's not like that at all. Parts come super quick, you know. So we'll have to, like, I believe the corners are, like, a little funky. But that's on me. You know, that's on, that's, like, this side. I think they're right here. They're a little weird. But that's all on me. It's not on him. I just want to reiterate that. But um, I pretty much bought the full catalog that he offers for the 77. And uh, we'll get into that a little later about the other parts that I got. But let's just try to fit this on first. There's many different kinds you can get. There's ones that, I know you guys probably know this already, but there's ones that you can have, you replace this whole panel and it's already ha has one on it already. So you just like unbolt and bolt it on. This one's actually an add-on. So I'll have to like screw in and try to figure out how to fit it because um, I kind of want to make my life hell. So anyway, let's try to fit this on and see um, see how close we were. We might have to shave this a little bit, but we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, we will have to shave quite a bit actually. All right guys, I do have the original template for this, which I saved because I knew this was gonna be kind of difficult. Um, taped it together. I refit it on the car. These are the points for that like little valance that goes in the middle. And then these are my fenders. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna cut this out, but I had a plan a long time ago, but now I guess I don't. Um, I have a good, good, good feeling that this is gonna suck a lot. Because as you can tell, nothing is really doing anything that I want it to do. The angle of this not really concerned about it's more of you know this here but man, we're gonna have to really chop quite a bit out i found the center of this a little point there if you can see it one here found the center of this so i'm gonna kind of just go like this here for first and then we're gonna kind of chop this which is super tight to that edge but if it doesn't go on then whatever we'll figure something else out but for now I'm gonna try to get this semi close. Well, that was absolutely no fun. After 13 million trips outside to cut this thing, it finally fits how it should. So I had to cut quite a bit off of here. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do, but um, it's good. I mean, he's gotta be tweaked a little uh, like that because I want the sides to kinda you know, be level. So I'll tweak the sides a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes uh, mount these tiny, tiny, tiny screws in here. And then um, we'll drill the ones on the side and get those going. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make any like 90 brackets here or something, because then you're gonna have more holes, but maybe one in the middle. I believe that this is sufficient enough in two here. That'll be enough to keep it on there. If the car is super low, then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll um, make some brackets and like button this thing up so it's like super solid. That way if I hit it, it won't, it won't rip out. But. All right, let's go ahead and try that. 
All right, guys, there you go. And that is that. All those three bolts there. It's pretty decent on the side. I'm pretty happy with it. Try to get everything nice and level as far as like this line to, you know, your body line. This one on this driver's side, or passenger side, sits pretty good. That's kind of how I want it. You know, the other one is a little different. This one sits a little more in, but you know, that's kind of all, all we can do. So we'll see how that, how that goes, but I don't know, everything came out pretty good. I'm gonna put a little gasket between there. So everything, you know, is nice and finished. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take all this tape off, finish painting that grill, and then we'll, um, we'll get a good look at everything finished up. All right, guys, this one should be slightly less complex as the front one. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of come out here and go up. And I think, I think we're, we're around here, those little brackets on the back, like the front one. They're around here, or I don't know if they're directly in line with this slot, but uh, they're close. So there is two holes are they? right here. And you can access them from the trunk. So what we'll do is we'll just make a little 90 bracket, two holes here that are slotted and then two holes here that are slotted as well. And we'll tighten these up from inside and that will allow us to go in. And then the other ones will allow us to go up. So let's see if we get started here a little bit. We need what? Four up. Okay. All right, so there's a piece of metal I found um, upstairs. Sometimes we'll drill a hole through here. You know, hold this on, I'll cut this in half. Let's chop this guy in half and then we can square everything up and get our bends and drill our holes and stuff. Looks like we're only gonna catch one hole. There's two holes here. And there's slightly a little on the outside of this. <clears throat> so either we're gonna favor one side or the other. I think we'll probably favor the inside. So here's two, both of my did brackets here. All slotted. It's like one bolt in there. And what you can see, we're not using this one. You can tell under here that, you know, I didn't really have enough, a wide enough piece, but it's all right. I think that's fine. Um, this, this is huge. You know, this is pretty thick. The other one on the other side. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hang the bumper on here and see kind of how far it sits away from the car and then go from there. All right, take a look guys, this is what I got. Brackets are finished. They are like a little offset. So I had to like notch a little piece out here so we can make clearance for here. I slotted these, which they ended up being at the very bottom anyway, which will lift the bumper up. And then these uh, slots didn't need to be that big either, but they sit about there, so, and that's it. So let's go mount this thing up. Um, it's kind of tight to get these bolts in, but I don't know, let's go see what, uh, Let's go see what we got.
All right, guys, that'll do it. Wasn't too bad. Everything kind of went together for the most part, you know, as uh, expected. Um, I just want to touch on something real quick before I end this. Uh, the front spoiler I got from Pond Retro. Now, it may look like it didn't fit at all, which it didn't. And I had to do a lot of work, as you saw, to get it to fit. But the reason for that is because my car and the model spoiler that he gave me or I requested was different. And which is fine, <clears throat> but I had sent him a template of my car, the front, you know, how everything goes. And by doing that, I could have been wrong or I could have been requesting something that was for another, like a TA or something instead of an RA or, um, and that's the reason why it was a little more difficult, but rest assured when you buy anything from this guy, um, everything should fit perfect. And the reason I know this is because I did a lot of research on this before I even bought something from Thailand and spent the money and then waited so long, which was only about three weeks or so, but still, I wanted to make sure I'm not just throwing money away uh, overseas for something I may not ever get. So I do my research. Um, rest assured that anything you get from him, you're 100%. Stick around for next episode, guys. We're gonna be doing some more body stuff, uh, which may be slightly controversial in the first-gen Celica world. Uh, that being said, you may already know what path we're headed down. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one.